What's good, Skins fan? It's your man, Ed Oliver. Not the one from the Bills, but the one that is a huge Skins fan. <laughs> What's good, y'all? So, just got the news, man. Donald Penn. Donald Penn, let's go. I like it. I like it. One-year deal. It took it took a little too long. Shout-out to my man, Chucky. Chucky um, texted me and um, told me about it. I got that notification, too. So, I I'm pretty hyped, man. I'm pretty hyped. I'm happy, man. I'm super, super happy. It's hot out here today, man. It's hot. It's hot. I'm telling you. I already heard there's been a couple fights today. Monte Nicholson fighting Jeremy Sprinkle. I heard about that. I heard there was another fight. So there's been two fights today at practice. Practice started at 9.45. Right now it's 10.55. So we've already heard about numerous fights today. It's hot, man. These guys are scrapping, getting ready. I love it, man. I love it. Now we, we, we have death at the left tackle. Now signing Donald Penn does not mean we should trade Trent Williams or, um, um, or, or it doesn't indicate that Trent Williams' days are done in Washington. We just don't know yet. We don't know yet. Now, like I said, I wanted Donald Penn as a backup, regardless. Regardless, I wanted Donald Penn to be a backup to Trent Williams. You know, um, the guy Corey Robinson, he, he'll probably get cut, or he could make the team that we signed. Who knows? I mean, he could be the third uh, left tackle. I mean, we still have Jerron Christian. Um, there's somebody else on the roster, too. I can't remember who it is at the left tackle position. But um, now Eric Flowers. I've been hard on Eric Flowers. Everybody knows Eric Flowers was awful with the Giants. was a human turntable. Now he can really play guard and get better at the guard position. So this is really good news for Eric Flowers as well. Who knows, Eric Flowers might be good at the guard position. He really might be. Uh, we've heard Wes Martin has been inconsistent um, throughout training camp. Training camp, this is what, the sixth or seventh day of training camp anyway. They had the day off yesterday. So, um, you know, who knows with Wes Martin, you know. So we'll see if he can develop. It's, it's a battle at the guard position. Eric Flowers might be good at, he might be good at guard. Who knows? I'll give him, I'll give, I'll give him a chance. He might not be a human turntable at the guard position. So let's let's see what happens with him. But I'm very excited with Donald Penn. I'm hearing it's a one-year deal. The guy's 36 years old. It doesn't matter to me. Like I said, we had John Jansen who was old as a brick. We had Chris Samuels who was old as a brick. Tackles can be old. It's not like a running back position where you had to be young and keep going, you know, or wide receiver. Wide receiver, there are some old guys that play wide receiver, like your Chris Carter's Jerry Rice. But those are elite, those are elite players like Randy Moss, who played when he was old, you know. So Donald Penn being 36 is not a big deal to me. It's not a big deal, man. It's, it's anything is better than playing Eric Flowers at left tackle. I'll take Donald Penn at 46 years old rather than playing Eric Flowers at the left tackle position, to be honest with you. So um, I'll take Trent Williams at 56 years old um, playing left tackle rather than ha having Eric Flowers play at the left tackle position, starting at the left tackle. Like I said, we'll give Eric Flowers a chance at guard. Um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm actually excited to see Eric Flowers play a guard position. I really am. I can't wait to see him play at guard um so let me know what y'all think about this signing this is an a plus signing to me you know uh, and the big picture is Trent Williams we we have I want to get it I want something to be done with Trent, Trent Williams I do want you know I want him to be a part of this team I want him to start you know I think he's our, he's obviously he's better than Donald Penn so we want him to start we want to we wanted to be like the Trent Williams Ty and Secchi duo that we had last year for the past two or three years where Ty and Secchi did a good job coming off coming off the bench or backing up Trent Williams. Chai and Seki did a great job when Trent Williams got suspended and uh, uh, when Trent got injured a couple of times. So I like Chai and Seki. I wish we could have kept Chai and Seki, but he's gone now. We get Donald Penn for a cheaper deal, a one year deal. So in my opinion, that's a win. It's a win situation. And you know what? We we have sucked in the we have been terrible in the red zone recently. Donald Penn can actually catch passes. I'll put his highlight tape in the description. Um, his YouTube highlights of him catching the football, if you didn't know that. So that's something we can really add to our offense in the red zone. We can do a trick play or whatever, have him line up as a receiver. The guy's, what, 6'6", six, 6'5", six, six, uh, big as a mug, 300, almost 360 pounds, something like that. That's a big guy. Donald Penn is a big guy, I'm telling you. Donald Penn, we should, we should run at least some red zone plays for Donald Penn to catch the ball. Even on a third and one or fourth and one, we can do a nice play action. Donald Penn can just push somebody out the way and catch the football. So, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see him play. I really am. I'm hyped about this move. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Y'all y'all know I've been waiting for this notification. Y'all know. And I really didn't think we were going to get a deal done for real. But I'm happy, man. I'm happy, man. All right, y'all. Hail to the skins. Hail to the wizards. All right, y'all. Peace.